Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be jumping through all of the ways to level very, very quickly in New World. So I know a lot of people have been asking about specific levels. There's like these little spots where it's kind of weird, like level 25 when you just got done with Amrine and you're waiting for Starstone Barrows. What should you be doing? Should you be doing side quests? Is that the fastest way to level? What's the fastest way to level and when should I be doing what? And that's a great question. We're going to cover it all today in today's video. If you guys have been asking this question on Twitch, by the way, Twitch stream down below in the description, twitch.tv slash iGraphGuy. Let's jump into today's video. So guys, in today's video, like I said, we're going to jump through the leveling tips. The first thing we're going to talk about is town boards. Town boards is easily the strongest ways to level at the moment. We've talked about this in the past. We'll talk about it again. They nerfed it. It wasn't nerfed hard enough. Still a very, very solid choice or option to choose from. If we actually take a look down here, there's going to be three settlements you're going to want to kind of do a circle around. You could do Everfall, Windsward, or Monarchs, which is, you know, something I've been kind of doing is Windsward, Everfall, and Weavers, which is not a great circle, but I did have my recall on Weavers for the main or majority of i guess uh the time after i bought the house in everfall so i have my house obviously in everfall and then right now i do have like i said my recall up in morningdale but typically i would have my you know three i would have a recall of a house and you know kind of in the middle of this triangle and then i would also have a uh a fast travel of some sort or not a fast travel but a recall to in also in that triangle but let's just say you do everfall monarchs and windsward what you're going to do is go to the town project board and you're going to really walk in between these three settlements constantly and you're going to want to kill rabbits you're going to want to kill deer you're going to gather everything you possibly can because if you go into here you can see that there is weapon smithing these give you a ton of xp look at this one right here 3000 this is a higher tier one by the way but 3690 xp that's a ton of xp on town boards and obviously you can do these very very easily these are not as much xp because they're so simple to actually do um so these are great things to you know take advantage of um, you can craft these very, very easily. We're going to jump actually all the way down to Everfall to see what we have there at that town board. But town boards are absolutely huge. And we're not going to just talk about town boards today, but I want to start off with this. Because at level 50, you're going to start getting some of these harder. And not because you're level 50, but because of your trade skills leveling up, because of your territory standing being so high, and because of all of the things that come into you getting late game content. Later on at like level 45, 50-ish, you're going to start getting or should start getting some of these crazier, uh, higher tier, really, town board missions. And that's going to be the ones that give you like 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 XP, which is better than basically every side quest. So you can already see here, I'm getting things like oil. I can already just pick up that, turn that in, 1,560 XP, just like that. We can also see that there's armor smithing, and uh, you can also see here, lodestone. So lodestone, if I have enough mining to get lodestone right now and get lodestone blocks, you can see that's 7,300 XP. That's without the bonuses of, you know, if you have character XP in that town. So it's just crazy that people are not taking advantage of the town board like they should be. That's a ton of, ton of, like I said, a ton of XP. Um, you can also, like I said, get a ton of other things. So if you just want to refresh these, they refresh, I would say, every 30-ish minutes, I believe. Um, we have 12 minutes in the top right on this one. So you can always time those if you have, like, you know, 20 seconds left in your town board. Wait 20 seconds, see if you have something different you want to take turkeys and stuff on the way to the other town boards are great xp as well so when you're running like i said from everfall to monarchs you want to start trying to gather this uh gather these resources and it's really really great to actually do a little triangle run between resource or sorry between hubs and kind of like i said gather kill turkeys kill deer kill wolves whatever you have to kill on the way and then also gathering on the way so you can turn all the town projects in at the next spot um, like I said, guys, this is just the fastest way, in my opinion, to level. Definitely once you get higher level to get stuff like this lodestone, that's going to give you 7,300 XP. It's so, so big. I do want to talk about you guys that are lower level, though. So there's a lot of people asking about what side quest should we do? Are side quests worth it, right? Well, I didn't do some side quests. There was no reason for me to do first light. First light, I didn't even touch. There was just no reason to go down there and do it. Uh, so I didn't touch it. But I did a lot of other side quests. And I can tell you guys right now, Everfalls is definitely worth doing. Everfall side quests give you... Uh, at level 25 and level 35, they actually give you the Amrine Excavation, which is the first dungeon. They give you an extra key for that. And they also give you a quest. And then, and by the way, that quest gives you great XP. And you can also, by the way, do the repeatable bones for Berkhamides. And this is, by the way, the greatest way to really get some great gear and level at uh, about level 25 to 30. You can continually do this if you can find groups. Um, and continually, you know, do the same, like I said, repeatable quest over there as well at the dog, with the Berkhamides dog. 
And uh, you can actually do the same kind of concept over here with the Starstone Barrows. So with Starstone Barrows, which is really, really cool, is you actually at 35, like I said, with Everfall side quest, you get another free key there. So you get two keys for both dungeons and you get the quest turn in at Everfall side quest. So do all of Everfall side quests. Going to be very, very important for your fast leveling level or really leveling later on. And I do have a lot of other questions, or, you know, a lot of, lot of, a lot of other questions, as I'm kind of getting stumbled on my words, that are asked uh, quite a bit on the uh, on the stream when it comes to leveling. So, I kind of want to cover those real quick. So, if you are, you know, looking for weapon XP, so I hear weapon XP quite a bit. I've talked about these elite zones before, but I want to talk about just a few more here. So, Monarch's Bluffs in the bottom left, you're going to see here, Monarch's Bluffs, right? Bottom left, if you're about level 25 to 30, you can jump down to Dead Man's Cove, probably level 25 uh, in general, if you're if you're right around 25 in general, just jump down to Dead Man's Cove with a group of about five, maybe even 10, and you can get some crazy XP gains from these areas. We also have down here in Cutlass Keys, we have Stone Skull Fort, which is a great level 40 zone, kind of the same uh, kind of the same really idea there, and they have some great you know named dropped items down there as well. If we actually jump up a little bit higher as well, you can see that they have more of these. So Paraville, this is another one down in Weaver's Fen. Um, here is, I believe, a 35 zone. I don't have it marked right now, but a 35 zone in Brightwood. And if we take a look at Restless Shore, uh, they have another zone over here. Um, it's right here. I'm not sure exactly what level it is. I believe it's like 40, 45. You can definitely take advantage of that as well. But, you know, there's so many of those great zones, but there's one that's kind of a secret to a lot of people, and that's Boar's Home. So Boar's Home is a great spot, and it's, uh, you know, a fast place to get level 200 skinning as well because you can actually kill, uh, you know, there's like a just basically boars everywhere right and you can group them up kill them and get a ton of xp but you also get that skinning xp if you really really want to uh, but those are just some of the weapon xp leveling possibilities that you can take advantage of but like i said guys the most most people most level 60s most high levels like myself are taking full advantage of the town boards town boards are absolutely huge i think people that are doing faction missions faction quests that's fine to get your tier 3 gear or your next gear up but re in reality if you're looking to just level the fastest faction missions are not going to be the answer uh, so just remember that, keep that in mind. And also getting your storage, by the way, is so, so important. Always getting your storage up because when you have a hub, I'm telling you guys, it's hard to not run out of space. That's why I have 2,075 storage shed. I continually get up my storage when I get a town, uh, sorry, territory standing. And you can see my house. This is my house right here. I do have four storages, four extra chests in front of the house. So, you know, that does add into the, the overall storage in Everfall, which is very, very helpful for leveling, like I said, doing these town board projects. Um, you know, it's one thing, like I said, to, to, to really try to level as fast, fast as you can, but um, I just wanted to kind of talk about, you know, the, what I'm doing personally is these town board projects. I'm, I'm hitting these very, very hard. I'm doing side quests as well, doing corrupted portals a little bit as well. Corrupted portal chains, by the way, amazing. If you can actually find a group to do corrupted portal chains, that's going to be a fast way as well. Uh, what we always like to do is there's typically, if you have Weaver's Fen under, you know, under invasion conflict or um, you know, have a, you can actually see how, um, how hard they're getting hit right now. So you can see that Everfall actually has a three star basically invasion. So they're going to have so many different portals pop up, but Weaver's Fen only has a two star, right? So two, it's not too, too crazy in Weaver's yet, but sometimes you'll get a, a bundle up here and a bundle on this side as well. So the North West and Northeast side, if you have that happening, you're going to be able to just run across, do all these portals. So, so quickly as a group. You get about 600 and I think 605, 650 XP for the smalls, which take about 30 seconds. And then obviously the running is the big part, which takes another 30 seconds. So about 60, about 60 seconds, you get 605 XP every 60 seconds. And you get a lot of great gear, um, a lot of great Azoth, a lot of great territory standing by doing this. Um, and obviously if you're doing this in a zone that you think you're going to remain in for a majority of these really, uh, you know, corrupted portals, or you're going to do those corrupted portals for that entire day and dedicate character XP, you do probably want to get character XP as an option. Obviously, storage, I believe, is more important than character XP for sure. But if there's other options you want to just kind of take away, uh, you know, character XP is not a bad option there. Um, you know, it's it's really, really crazy how many options there are when it comes to leveling. But look at all these faction missions. And, uh, you know, I don't actually do them. They're not worth it. Unless you're grinding for gear, you might as well just wait to do faction missions until you do Great Cleave. Great Cleave late game is easily the fastest PvP faction missions to get your faction tokens very, very quickly. So, like I said, guys, do the main quest. That's going to be your quickest way to level. After that, you want to do the Everfall side quest and all town project boards that uh, you can actually do. If you have questions about weapon XP, PvP is obviously the greatest option, but then it comes down to elite zones. Uh, and thank you guys again for tuning in and making these streams absolutely fantastic. If you guys have not already tuned into a stream, 
or streaming on twitch.tv slash iGraphicGuy. It's going to be down in the description of today's video. We're level 55. We have a lot of wars coming up. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up. A lot of late game dungeons, a lot of PvP content. So thank you again for tuning in. I'll see you guys all in the next one.